Hello everyone and welcome to another For the Love of Learning video. My name is Miss D and I'm your virtual teacher. And this here is, whoa, pig. This is pig, pig that's way too close. You need to come back from the camera. This is pig, your virtual rhino. In this video, we're gonna look at unit fractions. This means fractions where only one part of the whole has been taken. For example, one quarter or one third. Not sure if this is the right video for you. Let's have a look at this practice question. Hidden amongst these shapes, there's a half and there's a quarter. Can you spot them? Either tell the screen or an adult. Pause the video now. Welcome back, let's have a look. There we go. We've got a half just here and we've got a quarter hiding away in the top. If you think you need more practice with halves and quarters, have a look at my previous videos. I'll put a link in the comments below. Today, we're gonna to be finding some other fractions and Pig and I are going on an adventure. Isn't that right, Pig? No, Pig, we are, we're going on an adventure. No, seriously, I'm, I'm not joking. I, I, I read the script. <laughs> I actually kind of wrote the script. Yeah, cool. No applause, it's fine. Anyway, should we find out where we're going? Let's go then. Look, Pig, we've arrived. No, it's not the same place with a few extra leaves. Yes, it's got lots to do with fractions. She's not impressed. Should we get on with some learning? I think that might be a good idea. So we already know that to find a half, we split something into two equal parts. And to find a quarter, we split something into four equal parts. Let's have a look at this shape then. What fraction of this shape is red? Well, in total, how many parts are there that make the whole? There are three parts and they're all the same size, three equal parts. How many parts are red? One. So how do we write this as a fraction? Well, we know that there are three equal parts that make the whole, so that is our denominator. We need to show that some of it has been taken, that it is a fraction, so we're gonna put that line in. And how many parts have been taken or have been colored? One. So we've got one over three. This is called a third. Can you say that? Nice and loud. That's right, a third. Your turn now. Have a look at this shape. What fraction of this shape has been colored in green? Either tell the screen or an adult. Pause the video now. Welcome back. It's one third, isn't it? Because there are three equal parts and one of those parts is green. Let's have a look at another example together. This question says, what fraction of this shape is colored in? So to answer this, we first got to figure out how many parts make up the whole. Five parts make up the whole. So we know that the five is going to be our denominator. Let's put that in. And now we've got to figure out how many parts are colored in of those five. Well, it's just the one part, isn't it? So what fraction of our shape is colored in? One fifth. We've got one fifth of our whole that is colored in. Your turn now. You've got three fractions. Can you match them to the correct shapes? Pause the video now. Welcome back, let's take a look. So we've got one half, which needs to match to the circle because that's been split into two equal parts. We've then got one quarter, which needs to match to the square because that's been split into four equal parts. And finally, we've got one fifth that needs to match that funny shape in the middle because that has been split into five equal parts. Good job, everyone. I feel like we've worked really hard today. 
Let's give ourselves a little round of applause. Hi, Pig. What's that? You want a round of applause as well? Wow, very cheeky. Have you been working particularly hard? No, you just turned up to work. Fair enough. Well, I'm feeling pretty pleased with myself. I feel like we've worked pretty hard today. How are you feeling, Pig? Hungry. Shocking. <laughs> Why don't you have a go at some fractions, Pig? I think you can do it. Okay, Pig, you're up. Have a look at this shape. What fraction has been coloured red? She's thinking. Oh, we have an answer. Interesting. Pig thinks that this is the fraction that the shape is showing. Do you agree with Pig or do you disagree with Pig? Either tell the screen or an adult. Pause the video now. So Pig says that because our shape has been split into eight equal parts, we put that eight as our top number. And that because one of those parts is coloured in, we put that one as our bottom number. But she's actually got this the wrong way around and it's a really easy mistake to make. So what we need to do is put eight as our bottom number because it's our bottom number that tells us how many parts the whole has been split into. And then put our one as our top number because it's the one part that has been colored in. And it is quiz question time. Today's quiz question we actually worked on together. It was a joint effort. Should we take a look? Okay. So you have three fractions and you've also got the shape representing those fractions. Can you tell me which fraction is the biggest and which fraction is the smallest? Pause the video now. Welcome back. So let's have a look. Well, our half is our biggest and our fifth is our smallest. Pig, did you notice anything? No, no, you did, Pig. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure you noticed something, Pig. Pig, why do I bother to send you the scripts if you don't read them? <sighs> what Pig noticed is that the bigger the denominator, or the bigger the bottom number, the smaller the fraction. Well, that seems a bit backwards, doesn't it? But we have our proof right up there. One half is definitely bigger than one fifth. We can't wait to see you in our next video, can we, Pig? We will also be joined by a new member of the For the Love of Learning team, which is really exciting, isn't it, Pig? No, Pig, they're not gonna get a bigger dressing room than you. Wait, you have a dressing room? Bye for now.